Hi, welcome to Artist Academia. Today we'll be exploring the movie Turning Red and learning how to draw May as a red panda. To get started, grab a pencil, a piece of paper, and something to color with, and we'll begin. To start, I'm going to draw toward the top of my page an oval for May's head. Next, I'm going to draw in her big round body. Next, I'm going to sketch in two big curves for her arms, which are going to be on her hips. To start, I'm going to draw in a loose oval for May's head. Next, I'm going to draw in a big curvy body. Next, I'm going to draw her big poofy tail. And then two triangles for her ears. And then two big curves. And these are going to be her arms, which are going to be or she's going to have her hands on her hips. And then we're going to draw her feet. So draw two ovals at the bottom of her body. And then I'm going to connect them with these lines. And that's going to be her legs. And then I'm going to start defining her face a little bit more. I'm going to take my eraser. Uh, redo this a little bit. Yeah, that looks much better. And her face is not a perfect oval, so it's going to come up like this. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And then I'm going to draw in her snout, which is almost in the middle of her face. Be something like that. So it should be more narrow toward the top and then it gets wider toward the bottom. And then I'm going to draw in an oval for her nose and then draw two circles on either side of the snout that's going to be her eyes and then she has this nice patterning on her cheeks so I'm going to draw those in And then I'm going to draw her with a nice smile. So it's going to look something like that. And then draw two curves. That's where our eyebrows are going to be. I'm going to draw a curve on each top. And then another curve to connect them. This one's a little too exaggerated. That looks uh, 
looks better. And now that we have the overall shape, now I'm gonna start come in and define everything and clean up my drawing more. So I think her arms actually need to come down a little bit more like this. Curve here. This is her paw that's on her resting on her hip. side her belly is gonna stick out a little bit more on the right side like and then her arm on this side you're only gonna see a little bit of her paw And then I'm going to start defining the rest of her body a little bit more. So feet. Then I can come in and clean that up. She has her big poofy tail. So I'm going to find that a bit more. Clean that up. Next, I'm going to come in and work on the details of her face. So, I can erase these extra lines in her ears. So inside her ears, you're gonna have these nice curvy interiors. Then you have these bits of furry fluffiness that comes up. And there's gonna be some of the furry fluffiness on the inside as well. And something similar for the other side. So. Clean this up a little bit. So there's some inner fluffiness and then nice curve. And 
can some of the fluffiness showing on the outside as well. And then the bottom of her chin should come down a little bit into her body, like that. And then for her eyes, I'm gonna draw her irises. Actually, first I'm gonna clean up these circles. These are kind of very loosely drawn, so I'm gonna draw them a little bit, a little bit nicer. And actually, they're not perfect circles. Um, they're still curved on the bottom, but they're more flat. And kind of come up more like this. I'm going to draw in two circles on either side for iris and then a smaller circle within for the pupil and then a little circle like that and then i'm gonna leave white that's gonna be the shine mark to make her eyes look more shiny and then i'm gonna clean up this snout more so it comes up between here it's gonna come to a point here and then there's a line that comes in between like that and then her nose I'm gonna have two curves for her nostrils connect it like that Her eyebrows, I'm gonna just adjust them a little bit. Okay. And then we have her mouth. So she has four smaller teeth in the front. And then two bigger teeth on either side. Like that. And then two teeth on either side that are a little bit smaller. This doesn't look quite right. Actually, her mouth needs to come more like that. And then I need to draw her her tongue. So I'm gonna draw two curves so that you can see kind of the middle line a little bit, the indent in her tongue. And then clean this up a bit. 
I can show the very edge down here of the inside of her mouth. So it's gonna come around like this. see a little bit of her I guess it's her lip the inside her mouth I'm not really sure so now that we have her face more well defined um, I'm gonna draw in some more lines that give you the sense of fur, kind of like I did on the ears. So her cheek over here actually comes down a little bit more. And also it's gonna have some ziggity, zigzaggy lines to make it look like fur. I'm gonna do some um, top of her head as well. So, and on this right cheek. And then, I'm gonna do some on her body over here. So I'll show a lot of these zigzaggy lines and as well as over here. And then there's gonna be a lot of them all throughout her tail. So I'm gonna erase like most of this, just leave a little bit so I can kind of, I can use my line work that I put down as like guidelines. Then I'm gonna come back with my pencil and just do a whole bunch of these ziggy, zigzaggy lines to just really give this sense of a really big furry, bushy tail. I'll do a little bit more on the inside. Like that. And then, lastly, for the line work, I'm gonna draw in the feet in more detail. So, I'm gonna draw. Um, she has these toes on her bottom feet. I'm just gonna draw three lines on this one and three lines over here, and they're just nice curved lines. Cut. Clean this up a little bit, and then bottom of her feet, the very bottom of her feet seems to be a little bit more curved this way. Um, she has, the they're a little bit darker, the pads of her feet. So to show that, this is going to draw a line here and along each of these toes. And same on the other side as well. So now that we have our sketch done, it's time to color. So grab markers, pencils, pens, <laughs> whatever you like to use um, to color in your drawing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is outline my pencil work 
in marker and then colored it. So. <music> almost done with our drying there's just one more detail I want to add which is to add some more furry fluff lines along the body of May so that she looks like she's furry all over the place and so I'm just gonna add some nice little squiggly lines like this to make it look like she has fur all over and then I will be done with my drawing. So there you go. That's one way to draw May from the movie Turning Red. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video so that you don't miss another art lesson. And I'll see you next time. <laughs>